Here begins the tale of the beggar girl who becomes a queen. Wait ten minutes. Two sovereigns, the best I can do. Alice had the countenance of a stray and underfed fawn that drinks from the cool stream at the end of a hot summer's day without knowing what dangers are around the corner. In this very room, no less. And verily, she had no thought of where this unexpected path would be leading her. Alice, the darkness is only what we see. Within two hours of arriving in Kestrel House, Alice was standing in line, available to anyone for fourpence. You will not be permitted to eat for two days. Don't worry. You'll be queen of the castle here soon enough. I saw her in a bath full of blood, dead. You see, men do often go down the wrong path of destiny. It's, 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 it's a corpse, it's an empty vessel. Still a lot of love left in. I want a fourpence back. Not. Alice was a model of comeliness. Her cheeks were as a peach, her lips honeydew, her teeth strings of pearls, her breasts were pert with rosy buds that stood at bay, her body rose and fell with grace under the blouse. Never I saw fairer. <laughs> Show the gentleman out. Oh, it's time to leave. No, 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 I have not been satisfied! Alice would now be known at Kestrel House as Ariel, for no one used their real names. Madam, 